Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard TARDIS, and it's Gamescom right now, and there's a bunch of trailers dropping for different things, and mostly you'd think, oh, it's trailers for games, but we have one for a movie here, and that's Rebel Moon. Now, I already did a trailer reaction to Rebel Moon, but it was pointed out to me by Zack Snyder Superfan, uh, Andre from Backseat Directors uh, Podcast, that uh, what I watched was actually a fan-made trailer. <laughs> Uh, so a little egg on my face it was a fan-made trailer that was basically taking cl teaser clips and different things all meshed together. So it was Rebel Moon footage, but uh, I know some people said, wow, why does it keep like cutting to black? That's because it was fan splicing teasers together um, to make it look like a full trailer. So this is actually the first true Rebel Moon trailer. Now, if you want to know more of my thoughts on just the whole thing in general, go back, watch that video or the intro to that video, uh, because I talked a lot about how um, I'm not a snack, Zack Snyder fan. I didn't really like his movies before his DC movies. I really didn't like his DC movies, especially Batman v Superman. Uh, that movie very much angered me. Um, I was very worried at the idea. Everybody was talking about him getting a Star Wars movie. I did not want him to do Star Wars because I would feel that much... Like certain other directors, you know, like Taika Waititi, stuff like that. Even when you like what they do, um, if they're bringing too much of themselves to a property that already has a look, already has a feel, and they try to do it their way, it's not enjoyable. Now, Rebel Moon, on the other hand, that is his own original property. So if he wants to do that and tell a Star Wars-like story, because Star Wars is Dune, which is Isaac Asimov's foundation. It's, it is... Um, you know, Star Wars is a bit of old, like, samurai movies, it's westerns, it's um, Flash Gordon and Buck Rogers, it's Star Wars is made up of a mixing pot of all that things. So if somebody wants to take that and go any step further and put Star Wars in the mixing pot with those other things and make their own thing, that's kind of cool. Uh, I have no problem with that. I don't, it doesn't have to adhere to any Star Wars sensibility or canon in that realm. I'm interested to see what he will do because I like this kind of genre of film. Um, so my only one concern is he can be a little bit over on the slow-mo, um, a little intense on the gore. I'm not a fan of that, um, but uh, we'll see. So with that, let's get to watching this trailer. Netflix. It's weird, such a big... Movie with a lot of hype behind it being a Netflix movie. Oh, Mattel Hand. Do you know the story of the Princess Lisa? Hmm. Nope. In myth, she was called the Redeemer. It was okay. Cool ships. That's uh, a little weird. Like that. That doesn't seem what we're kidding, though. Ooh. She died. That's from the previous thing I watched. a bit of that gore that I was talking about. This looks very similar to Foundation. I mean a little higher end, but very very similar effects wise. Okay, our lightsabers. Probably called laser swords in this or plasma swords. Something Disney can't sue for. I like all the ship action. I love spaceships. I love spaceship action. That's like probably the thing I love outside of the droids that I love the most from Star Wars. It's just all the spaceships. Alien Griffin. 
We're in a little fantasy in our sci-fi. I'm not opposed to that. Kind of like it. Sounds like we're talking about Batman. I think if anything else, I will love the ship battles. I will say, I like how when, like, I saw it on the blue lightsabers, how there's, it's almost like it's a flame. Like, it kind of has, like, an after effect. So it isn't just, like, robbed lightsabers. It has a unique look to it. And it looks just... Just as cool as lightsabers did back in the... Like, it's just... But making that... So it's not just a colored sword. I, I, I think just kind of gives it that extra little bit of pop. Um, this looks like it's just going to be Netflix. Yeah. Okay. So, um, that intrigued me. That That much more than the last one sold me on this being an interesting movie. Uh, if anything, for the ship battles. I am a sucker for spaceships. I love spaceships. That's that's kind of my thing. Is like I wasn't the kid. Like I had uh, a Luke, a Han, a 3PO. I had an R2, a Chewbacca, a Leia, um, and a Vader, uh, and some Stormtroopers. Like I had little action figures of that as a kid. But if I'm being truthful, I played with the spaceships. And, of course, I was uh, non-denominational. I had a... Uh, I would uh, battle my X-Wing and my Star Destroyer and my shuttle and my uh, Enterprise because I bought, like, the, the little micro ships. So, yeah, like the, like, the shuttle was actually bigger than the Enterprise itself. And, and, like, the X-Wing was the same size as the Star Destroyer and stuff like that. But they were, like, little micro ships, all kind of basically about the same size. Um, some were, like, fatter and more thicker and more ones like the X-Wing had more detail. Like, it was spread out different ways. But um, uh, I had all of those, and I would play, you know, oh, Klingon, Bird of Prey, this, that, Borg Cube... I had I had all those little micro ships from Star Wars and Star Trek, and I would play them uh, together. And I probably did more of that. And then when Lego came around, I was doing the Star Wars Lego ships, building my own spaceships. Um, even you know the, the Occurator series of Legos that were under supposed to be submersibles, but I was just ah spaceship battles. That was my thing. That was like what I was really into. Um, and, you know, speaking of that, I think I saw that there was a new Homeworld game trailer. Uh, that's pretty cool. That was another game that I played just because I loved spaceships. Uh, so, um, I, that part I like. And I liked the effect of the lightsaber. I really liked that. Um, it did look, even from the trailer, I saw a bit of what looked like, okay, this is going to be a bit gritty, a bit that, and, like, um, like the 300 or stuff like that that like he gets praised for um, I don't like those movies um, his his whatever his glad I think it was 300 like the, the gladiator movie he did stuff like that that's too gory too violent for my taste this is probably gonna have that probably not gonna be really my taste in that but the ship battles if if nothing else I mean I'm gonna give it a try but if nothing else uh, a, a cut of all the ship battles, uh, like YouTube compilation, will be probably something that I will go back and rewatch. So uh, that was a cool trailer, and uh, shout out to Andre with uh, Backseat Directors, the podcast. Um, uh, thank you for piquing my interest in this. Uh, you are the reason why I am even checking this out. So with that. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next video.